Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ash Marie, and I like to draw stuff and share it here online. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I've got something a little bit different in mind. Sorry if you can hear that in the background. The glory of trying to voice over stuff when you live with a two-year-old. We'll wait. I'll be back. I think he's done for a little while. This week I've got something a little bit different planned in that usually pretty typically here on my channel I do Copic speed paints or just in general traditional drawing speed paints and lately I have been digging through all the art outlets on YouTube and I recently fell into the wonderful black hole that is one-of-a-kind dolls and creatures and I'm gonna list some of my inspirations down in the description below but I just am so amazed at these artists and what they create and especially a couple of these artists like um, Bubbly Leaf she uploads one of these creatures every single week and it just amazes me that she can finish these adorable wonderful projects in that time period so I since I haven't messed with clay since high school, it makes perfect sense, but I wanted to try my hand at clay making stuff. Don't mind the kitten in the corner. He controls nothing. Anyways, I uh, wanted to try my hand at clay stuff, even though I haven't done it in frigging years, and I decided to bring you guys along on the journey with me to see how well I do at this. So. I hope you guys really like the outcome. This project will be in two parts because I actually realized I don't have some of the resources I need to finish the project, but I'm at a nice halfway point, so I'm going to go ahead and post my progress here now. So I'm going to stop rambling, I'm going to let you guys get to the video, and I'll see you at the end. Since this video ended up being so long, since I ended up accumulating so much footage from it, I'm going to go over a little bit of the supplies that I used in the beginning half of the video, and then the second half will be just me rambling a little bit about my plans for October, because it always ends up being a very, very busy month for me, no matter what I try and do otherwise. You can see on screen here, I just picked up some Super Sculpty Original and uh, I ended up getting it in a beige color even though I kind of wanted gray just because that's what they had online when I purchased it and I went ahead and purchased that as well as some 14 gauge aluminum wire, just generic from Blick so that I could work on this project. Um, I actually ended up changing direction for this project a couple times during the progress. So I ended up with a couple of supplies like some batting and some faux fur that I ended up not really needing because I decided to go with needle felting instead because, well one, needle felting also kind of is in the same vein of the whole of creative YouTube that I've fallen into recently and um, my boyfriend happened to have a needle felting kit laying around the house and some really pretty colors of wool roving so I decided that I was trying out kind of new stuff with this and I was just gonna keep it going with adding the wool roving to the neck but we haven't even gotten there so Back to my, this thing changed gears a few times. It ended up changing gears because at first I wanted this to be like a project I would be able to finish in, in its entirety, you know, for a video. And as I got closer to the finish line, I was like, oh wait, I forgot that I don't have that many acrylics anymore and I will have to go out and purchase some acrylics and even if I didn't I picked a really weird color palette for this dragon so I'd have to go out and buy acrylics anyways so 
I knew I wasn't going to be able to finish it, so I was more than willing to change directions because, I mean, I wanted this. I don't plan on selling this dragon, by the way. I, I want this for my wall, and I am going to end up looking at it all the time, so if it takes me a little bit longer to finish and I have to do it in two parts, well, that just means that I get two YouTube videos out of it, potentially, instead of just one, and that's that's pretty cool with me. Ugh. You see, I'm working with this wire right now to make horns that never happened because I worked the clay onto the wires and one horn came out okay and then the second one just looked like poop and then I got mad and I was like I'm gonna just rip all this clay off these wires and you see that little the little hooks at the end that I made so the wires wouldn't poke me yeah they they still stabbed me that's what I have on a band-aid for the rest of the video Hey everyone, just popping in here because I just put the dragon head in the oven and I'm going to do a silent prayer to the universe that it doesn't burn or crack or split or anything like that, but it's been a, it's been a really, really long time, so I'm hoping I didn't get my layers too thick or too thin anywhere, and I hope it's uh, cooked all the way through. Can't really see, but I have a precious little one on my desk that came to visit because I have the desk full of clay stuff. So he wants to sit here, of course. All right, guys, I just pulled the dragon head out of the oven and I am so excited about this. Like, ah. I'm gonna show him to you like this first, even though it's super blown out and you guys can't see anything. I'll hold him up high. Obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you him by the regular cam in a second, but like, Oh, I'm just so pleased with how he came out and I really like the horn and I'm really happy because it didn't get like too off center or any well let me see if I can point at the camera yeah it's a little off center but he's a little but he's a little off center so that's okay and I am just so flipping I'm so flipping excited with this man so excited madam no 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 don't try to leave now that I'm going to shame you with the camera, I just brought this out here on my desk to start working on it. It's been sitting up here where nobody can touch it since I put it up last night. And this, this little, this little girl here wants to come and rub all over the friggin' dragon. Oh, look at her being sweet now. You know what you did. You know what you did. I'm not sure if I was making more noise with the clay than I usually do with my markers, but my cats were all in my business the entire time I was working on this project. They usually don't bother me on my desk that much, they just kind of pop in for love, but this time was ridiculous. I mean, look, look at this. Ma'am. I don't need your hair all over my clay. Cass! Get out! Get out! Go! Major brownie points to anybody that can figure out what movie I was listening to in the background that played in that little bitty clip. Aside from my, I suppose you could say, lack of planning for this particular project, I just always end up feeling like there is so much to do in October. I mean, October happens to be my birth month, so there's, there's that. I mean, there's Inktober now, which has blown up and become such a huge thing that I love trying to participate in and usually fail with but this year I'm doing pretty well as of filming I'm only two days in but I've managed to do illustrations for both days so good on me 
I mean, I also have my self-induced issue of my countdown to Halloween illustrations I've been doing here on YouTube. So since I didn't think ahead to be able to integrate those into Inktober drawings, I'm still working on those until Halloween as well. Let's see, what else do I have planned? Oh my goodness, how could I not forget, but how could I even hesitate to remember Texas Renaissance Festival because I am a huge nerd and I love going to Renaissance Festival. It is one of my fondest memories as a child and I have been going like every single year since I was probably 13 or so and I'll be 29 this year. Oh my, I'm almost on my way to 30. But anyways, um, I always, I always try to go to RenFest. It is my happy place. I have been investing in costuming for there for years. And it's just, it's just something, I don't know. October and RenFest just go along with each other. Dang, I just got a notification. Hope that's not too loud and I don't have to edit it out. But... See Renfest. Oh, and then of course there's the coup de gras. There's Halloween itself, which you know the whole month is basically Halloween for me. But you know I have to take time so I can actually celebrate with other people when they want to celebrate it too. happy that I took a leap of faith and decided to try out this project because I had a, a ton of fun and I can't wait to get the rest of the supplies I need to be able to finish making this one and honestly I already can't wait to start a new clay project and a new needle felting project maybe I'll have to do like a random crafty video once a month or so just cuz I'm I, I like crafts but I've always told myself that I can barely afford the art hobbies that I already have so I can't ever really afford to pick up a new art or crafting hobby I don't know Maybe, maybe, we'll see. I, I don't want to say things here on the channel and then decide not to do it and then feel bad because I already feel bad because I mentioned a particular thing for my Inktober project and now I've completely set that aside and I decided to use um, Life Illustration, Lydia Fenwick's uh, galaxy girl constellation prompts because i scrolled past it on instagram and i wasn't even planning on changing my sketches at all and i was like nope completely 360 change 360 wouldn't make me change directions anyways anyways i think you guys understood what i meant long story short i changed what I had mentioned in a previous video about my Inktober ideas and now I'm going with a different, completely different prompt list. But I will be posting uh, one video a week that I will compile all of my Inktober days into. As of recording this voiceover, it's only the second day, but I have recorded both of those illustrations, so you guys should have those on. Let me check my little calendar. Oh, we won't have one this week, but uh, that will be next week's Wednesday video will be the first of my Inktobers so that one will also probably be a little bit longer of a video just because it will have um, nine 
illustrations in it. Wow, I'm really going to have to cut that down. You guys might not get sketches and it might just be the inks, which I don't think would be bad. It might be kind of fitting for Inktober. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble, or if you didn't listen to me ramble, thank you for watching my video and tuning in to see the new art project that I had going on. Like I said, I really freaking enjoyed this and I'm so happy with how he came out and I can't wait to get some acrylics and start painting him and add some more needle felting details at the end. Let me know down in the comments how you think I did for my first try with um, clay and, well not first try, but first try in a long time. But also, for my first time with needle felting, how do you think I did? I was really trying to get that kind of marbly look to his um, neck. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching to the end. Your support really means the world to me. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my art and you want to see more. And don't forget to smash that like button and leave me a comment. Alright guys, so what do you think? Now that you're done with the video, I can actually hold him up. So what do you guys think so far? How did I do? Rate me down in the comments uh, how well you think I did for this being the first time I have messed with clay since high school. My 10 year high school reunion just came up uh, about a month or so ago. So it's been about 10 or 11 years really since I've worked with clay. And this is my first time working with something uh, that actually baked. So let me know in the comments down below how you think I did. And if you guys would like me to record uh, me painting and finishing this one off. Now I did realize in hindsight because I got so in a rush to actually work on this and I was so excited to actually work on it that um, I probably shouldn't have put the needle felting on immediately and started working on that because I really probably should have you know primed painted and put resin on this to save it well not to save it but to coat it and make it like a varnish that make would make it like not chip and stuff I'm kind of rambling a little bit but um, in hindsight I'll probably do it differently or in a different order if I approach a project like this again but I had a ton of fun and my fingers and my like muscles in my hands go out to every single artist that works with clay consistently because dang I mean I draw all the time and so right here on my hand will hurt a lot but dang drawing ain't got nothing on trying to warm up cold clay and I live in Houston it's hot here there was not much warming up that needed to be done but dang that clay is hard when you start but like I said I had so much fun and I would definitely do this again given the opportunity and you know um given the opportunity or uh, resources, that's the word I was thinking of, to be able to do this, I'd love to do this. And since I did make him a little bit too big for my wooden base, it's like behind me, but I don't wanna like get unplugged to try and grab it. Since the base that I made for this is uh, rather small in comparison to how big he ended up being, um, I'm gonna have to get a new one, but once again, I. I didn't have the resources to finish it anyways, so I'm I'm really excited. Not for this to shed on the shelf. To shed on the shelf. Back up off the shelf and to finish it off later on. Until then, I've got to get my head out of the clay and into Inktober because as of recording, this is October 1st, and I knew I was going to post this on October the 3rd. So Sophie, here's the pink. I'm still sticking to it. Even though we don't get to sit next to each other anymore, I try and remember to wear pink on Wednesdays. And if nothing else, bah, that pink lipstick. I try and at least remember a little bit. To all you mean girls out there, stay mean. I love you all, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.